Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Dirt and Iron. So you are starting to ride a dirt bike. In this video, we're going to talk about some basic gear that will keep you relatively safe. So stick around. All right, so let's start from ahead. Definitely helmet is number one thing. I don't even go for a small test ride uh, on any bike if I don't have helmet on. Uh, it's very important if you don't have it on, a small mistake, something stupid happened and uh, you will be sorry. So go ahead, get a helmet and keep it on if you are sitting on your bike. Uh, I like Fox brand for the helmets because uh, they're not that expensive. Uh, they're really good quality, really sturdy helmets and also they look really cool. So I have this uh, Fox V2 for me and uh, I bought a Fox V1 for my son. I like the color combination, I just like the design, I like how it looks. Uh, this one goes with both of my gears, it's black and white and yellow, so I really like this helmet, it always looks okay, whatever I'm wearing. So helmet is number one. Once you have your helmet, you definitely need to get a goggles. Now learn from my mistake, don't buy cheap goggles from eBay, uh, you're not gonna like them, pretty soon you wanna get something different. So I went ahead and bought this 100% uh, uh, Akuri or Akurai, whatever you call it, uh, this is, this is the one I bought from my local motorsport. I spent like $60. They come with two different lenses. One is uh, clear, another one has uh, some kind of tint. And uh, I like it because it's, it's not that dark. It's really good visibility even uh, with a low light. And uh, there is a lot of sunshine here when I ride. So these goggles are really cool. Plus they look really good on the pictures. So the goggles. Now, uh, <clears throat> when I first started riding, I had no uh, body protection, but very soon I learned that having some elbow protection, shoulder protection, and some wrist protection is very essential when you ride a dirt bike. There is a lot of different things you can buy, but uh, what I like is a full body armor with your elbows, shoulders, uh, your front for the wrist protection, then some back protection, and uh, you also have something for your lower back. Now you can go ahead and spend $150 for Fox Titan or Liad or these other brands. They're really good products uh, and um, yeah, maybe I'll get one later. But uh, I wanted to save some money and I did some research and there was a lot of guys that said good stuff about TMS brand. It's a Chinese company that is uh, cloning, copying, you know, all the good stuff from, uh, from Fox and other, other companies. So this is a Fox Titan clone and uh, I must say that uh, I'm uh, impressed uh, by the quality. You can tell that it's a little cheaper, but the important things, the protection, all these things uh, are pretty good quality. I put a couple hundred hours on this thing. I went down multiple times and it's still holding up and it saved my butt from quite a few scratches. Let's move to gloves. So you can get any gloves. I think I pay like $15, $10 for gloves like this. You can get gloves that have a little more protection for your, for your bones here. But this is just the basic stuff that uh, I think is enough. Now for, uh, for jersey and pants, uh, it's uh, really good to have a jersey and pants that are made for dirt bikes, for motocross or enduro. Because uh, you need to be flexible. You need uh, to be able to move your body to every single direction you need to. If you're riding in the jeans, uh, you don't have the flexibility you need. So go ahead and get your gear. I got uh, black and yellow because I'm riding Suzuki. Uh, that's for my jersey. And then I got these pants, uh, also black and yellow. So this is one black and yellow set. And uh, you know, you have a lot of flexibility. They adjust. They they stretch, they go with your body, plus they give you some heat protection for your uh, hot parts on the bike, for the, for the pipe and all these things. So definitely recommend go and find something uh, that is nice. You know, I heard that uh, motocross is one of the last places where you can get uh, really colorful stuff and, <laughs> and high boots and still look okay. So go crazy, get something nice, colorful. Uh, I think it, uh, it looks cool. The second most important part of your body that can easily get hurt on a dirt bike and once you hurt it, it's uh, usually too late, is your knees. So uh, you need to have a knee protection. The best is if you can go and spend $500 and get a good knee braces that will mm, you know, protect your knee from doing this and also from twisting this way. But uh, if you don't have $500, you don't want to spend it right now. Also, uh, I didn't spend $500 yet on the knee braces. I'm planning to do it in the near future. But get at least a good knee braces. I spent about 100 bucks for these knee, bra uh, knee uh, guards. 
So uh, I spent about $100 for these knee guards and I'm really happy. I went down a couple of times, even today I was riding and I went down and my knee is fine, I don't feel anything. So definitely I recommend to, to get some knee protection, at least this basic knee protection. But don't settle for something very cheap for like $18. Get something a little bit better that will stay on your knee when, because you're moving a lot on a dirt bike. When you start riding, you always change your position and you are bending your knee. So you need something that will stay where it's supposed to be at all times. Uh, I have a uh, socks. Uh, these are uh, made for motocross rides, right? Fox brand too, and they are pretty pretty high, so they go under your uh, knee protection. Uh, I like that because it just uh, it feels uh, warm and it feels safe. It's good, but you don't have to have it. Uh, it's just something extra. Usually people get socks, so I have socks too, and I like it. And the last part, which uh, is very important, you guys don't ride dirt bike without having a proper boots. Go ahead and uh, spend uh, money on your boots. If you want to spend a lot of money somewhere, get really good helmet, get boots, and get braces. This, uh, these three things will keep, keep you safe. Everything else uh, you can have, or maybe you don't need to, it's up to you, but uh, if I can pick three most important things for the protection of your body, helmet, knee braces, and a good boots. All right guys, so that's about it for today. So get your protective gear when you're starting riding a dirt bike. Uh, don't save money on the gear. This is something that will keep you safe. This is something that is very important. Save money on the bike. You don't need a new bike for $900. Take $900 and buy really good protective gear first. After you learn everything, after you are safe, then go ahead and buy some mods and make your bike pretty or whatever you want to do with your bike. When you go riding, uh, Stay safe, but push yourself a little bit out of your comfort zone. If you want to learn something new, you need to challenge yourself uh, every day. Go for something new. Uh, stay safe at the same time. Try to find that balance and have fun. And most important, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.